Hi guys, in our last video, we have learned how to host a website in IIS. But before we start hosting websites in IIS, we have to configure IIS in our machines. Uh, in fact, we have to know if IIS is configured in our machines or not um, in first place. So to check, I'm going to type window R and then type inetmgr in there. And if you see this message, that means like in my PC, um, IIS is not configured in your PC as well. So what I need to do now is I need to configure IIS in my PC. So I'm going to, going to go to control panel. This is my control panel here. And I have to go inside programs and features right here. These are the bunch of programs and features and I can turn them on or off from here. IIS is also a Windows feature and now I have to do only one thing that is straightforward, turn it off. So these are the bunch of features. Right now my requirement is uh, Internet Information Services. I'm going to select them. I don't need these things right now so I'm not going to select these. Uh, what I need is some application development feature. So I'm going to select ASP, ASP.NET, CGI maybe. And I have to go to the security tab. As a .NET developer, I'm going to need basic authentication. I'm going to need some uh, digest authentication, some Windows authentication. Yes, the digest authentication. Request filtering. This depends upon the requirement. You can pick all the things that you need and click OK. So this will take a little bit of time to be fair because Windows is uh, you know, doing a lot of background processing at this point of time. So wait patiently. OK, right now it seems that my IIS is configured. I can close the control panel and come back here, type um, window R and then type INETMGR like I did just some minutes ago and yes the internet information service is configured in my system here are some websites I can browse some websites also from here And it seems that everything is working fine and IIS is configured in my system in a perfect manner. So in our next video we are going to learn you know how to register .NET runtime with IIS. So thanks for watching.